championship fight between Bruce Lee and Tim Elliott. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 17 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, presenting the challenger, Tim Elliott. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. Official home base T Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC lottery. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. 
Trying the flying knee there. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And he switches wow. his stance yet again. Actually got the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Midway through round one. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him, yep, absolutely. Go. Both fighters back to their feet now. So 31 total strikes have landed for Tim Elliott thus far. Got the single collar tie. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Under a minute now to go in round one. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no hey, good. finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the pistol. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! oh. Horns out for the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaped. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Look at how he turns his hips over when he throws that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Big leg kick land. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Just over three minutes to go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice one, two there. Try to establish that jab. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? One? 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. You get the turn in that kick. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent on the floor, low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Slips the punch nicely there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Left hand punch to the clinch. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Elliot gets caught with that punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice in right into the fence. Nice take. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Left hand punch to the clinch. Just missing on the uppercut there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Just over three minutes to go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He blocks the punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Elliot's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the punk starts to slow down, and I take many of those kicks. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All oh, collar tie. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Ten seconds to go. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Out there, be fast, be sharp. Do not relax on this guy. 
All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship yeah. rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Left hand punch in the clinch. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Back and forth we go. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Elliott's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. What a wrestler. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top? Whoa! Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We set it inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...